Today, I'm going to show you how to use discounts in your restaurant to actually increase your profits instead of kill them. And we're getting it on right now. Hey there, Dave Allred, the real barman here from barpatrol.net. Today, I'm going to help you use your discounts to your advantage because I know many of you are like, should I even use discounts or coupons? Am I making any money off them? How often should I use them? It can be very confusing, but I'm here to help you clear up that confusion like a calculus teacher tutoring you through your math problems because I care. Now, most of you know the purpose of using discounts and coupons. It's to get more people into your bar and restaurant. But the question is, what type of people are you attracting with your discounts? Okay, this is why I don't like overusing them. Now, if you're a coupon clipper yourself, I'm going to apologize in advance for offending you, but I don't want your kind in my restaurant. All right, you're there to pinch pennies and take advantage of a deal, and then I won't see you again until the next coupon comes out. You're costing me money, and in the long run, you will not make me a profit. You're killing me. All right, in addition, your staff can't stand discount stalkers either. Okay, they're generally cheap, they don't tip well, they're picky, they complain a lot, and this causes a dent in your staff morale. In my opinion, when you offer discount after discount to get people into your restaurant, you're like a needy friend. You're like that person who would pay you just so they could hang out with you. But what we want is we want a friend who's fun to hang out with, who makes us laugh, who makes us have a great experience time and time again every time we hang out with them. That's what you should be doing. Creating a culture built on providing a great guest experience every time. Not a culture built on neediness to get people into your restaurant. All right, I'm going to show you how to avoid doing that in just a minute. Now, I understand if we don't get people in the restaurant, we can't make money. Okay, I get that. But imagine if you have a giant raft and you're trying to fill it and there's a big hole in it. And no matter how much air you put into it, you're never going to be successful and reach your goal because it's just leaking air. All right, same thing with discounts in your restaurant. You're leaking profits. All right, it's a horrible strategy on both sides. Okay, with that said, there is a place in your business plan for discounts if you use them wisely and strategically. You can be very successful at discounts if you're smart. But remember, everything you do in your marketing has to have a purpose behind it. So now that I've... Oh, you hear that? Yeah, a little music. Yeah, we gotta keep you entertained while you're learning to make money. Okay, so now that I've hopefully deterred you from launching discount after discount on slow nights, let's talk about how to grow your business using a discount strategy that actually works. So what should your strategy be when using discounts or any marketing, all right, besides just using that one promotion to get people into the door? Anyone? Ah, yes, you there. Ha <laughs> ha, you are correct. The end goal is to turn every guest that comes into your restaurant into a repeat customer. Ah, see, you knew that. And I'm sure you also know that it's five times more expensive to get new customers that come in than repeat customers. Building regulars is where the gold is at. All right, but remember, we want high quality repeat customers. We don't want coupon hoarders. All right, so how do we do this? Well, I've talked about this before, but John Taffer has a great stat about repeat customers which is to say that if you can get someone to come in at least three times, you have more than a 70% chance to retain them as a regular or repeat customer. First two times they come in is less than a 50% chance they'll return, which means our magical marketing strategy is to figure out a cost-effective way to get them to come back that third time, which of course then leads to more repeat business in the future. All right, that's geniusness. Is that a word? I don't think so which yes, I'm fully aware is very ironic. So anyway, Taffer's strategy involves handing out discount cards for something free to get them in that first time. All right, not a bad strategy for getting people in, but we're still at risk of getting the undesirables who are just there to save a buck and take advantage of you. So I've simply adapted this strategy, changed it just a little bit, and don't worry Taffer, you can still have credit for it because it's practically the same thing. And what I love about this strategy is it not only gets people excited about a discount, but the customer service aspect of this is so powerful because of the personal touch. Okay, so here's John Taffer's three-step strategy in a nutshell. Step one, give away a free appetizer. Step two, give a discount on their second meal. And step three, give away a free dessert. All right, don't worry, I'm gonna clear all this up for you. So Taffer's strategy in step one is for you to call upon your staff 
to go out and hand out free appetizer cards to as many people as possible to get them into the door. And this is a great strategy to get new people in who've never been to your restaurant before. However, my only issue is, is I know how busy you are when you're trying to put together a promotion or anything else. The fewer steps, the better. All right, and trying to motivate your staff to do tasks outside of work might sound like a great idea, but really tough to execute. So I've made a slight adjustment to step one. Instead of taking the time to have free appetizer cards made up, handing them out to your staff, and hoping they hand them out correctly, target people who are already in your restaurant for the first time. Because you know that they're there because they want to be there and not for a discount. And the strategy is to turn first timers into regulars. You can do this on any night or day of your choosing, right? Simply have the server or bartender ask the guests when they sit down, hey, have you been here before? And if they have, then they can just move on to the next phase of their spiel and get their drink orders or whatever. For those who haven't been there before, this is where you can spring your plan into action. Okay, step one's already been taken care of. We have them in one time, so it's on to step two. Now the server comes to inform you that, hey, we have a first timer at table nine. And then what you're gonna wanna do as the manager or owner is wait just a little bit, all right? We wanna give them a chance to taste their food and enjoy themselves, and then you're gonna walk over and introduce yourself. You'll ask them a couple of questions about themselves, where do you live, do you have kids, et cetera, et cetera. Basically make them feel welcome. Then you're gonna ask them, hey, how are the blank, the potato skins, the Alaskan salmon, whatever it is they're eating, hopefully they're gonna say great, all right, at that time, you're gonna pull a business card out of your pocket. If you don't have business cards, you gotta have some made up. And you're gonna say, hey, if you like the Alaskan salmon, you're gonna love our blank. Whatever it is you wanna offer. You'll wanna make this something good, all right? A home run dish on your menu. Hopefully not something too costly, but you can offer a free appetizer, 50% off an entree, anything you deem a good offer that's gonna get them excited to come back again, and something on the menu that you know people love. Then on the back of the card, you're gonna write one, free home run nachos or whatever you want and then sign your name okay this personal and apparently spontaneous act is going to blow your first time guests away because it's not a pre-made discount or coupon all right it's authentically and spontaneously written out by you or one of your managers this personal touch is so powerful it's something they're likely to share with other people after they leave your place they're gonna be like oh my god you won't believe what happened at dave's bar and grill they're so awesome and nice there so now you have word of mouth. Now, of course, we hope this gets them back a second time. Okay, they come back, they present the written card to the server, the server brings it to you, they bring out their home run nachos, and then about halfway through them, you or a manager comes over and says, hey, great to see you again. How are the nachos? Hopefully they tell you great again, at which time you're gonna say, you know what? I know I already did this, but you guys are great. I would love to have you come back again and try our monster brownie sundae on the house. You write it out again, you sign your name, you hand it to them. Just make sure you're doing the same meal every time for each visit. So you know if you get the nachos card, that's their second visit. The brownie card's gonna be the third visit. So you don't get confused on which visit is which. All right, either that or get different business cards for each visit so you don't mix things up. Does that make sense? Okay, and then if they try to use the discount right then, they're like, oh, I want my brownie right now. Just jokingly say, sorry, if you want it, you're gonna have to come back and endure my company again. Now, hopefully we get them in that magical third time. Server brings you the brownie card, you drop by, you say hi, personal touch again, and now hopefully we've got them hooked. So you can see how cost-effective and impactful this method can be for growing your repeat customers and growing your business. You're not just blindly sending out discounts in the mail or whatever, you're targeting high quality customers and you're providing a personal touch that they simply don't see at other restaurants. And your discounts are now a powerful magnet getting you powerful results. Now, in an upcoming episode, we're gonna talk about gathering emails, which is a marketing strategy even more powerful with a return on investment like you've never seen before. I'm not kidding, so keep an eye out for that. And then one final word on this strategy, if you want to have your staff hand out discount cards to people who have never been in your restaurant, like Taffer's Step 1 strategy, do it. It's a great way to get people in for the first time. I just know how busy you are, so I gave you an alternative method that you can try out right now this week to test it out. So. That's gonna do it. I hope that all made sense. I wanna thank you for being here. It's time for me to go. So sad, I know, but I'll be back again soon. If you have any comments or questions, put it in the comments below the video or you wanna post your results of this strategy. Go ahead and do it. So I appreciate you being here again. I appreciate you being a subscriber. I'm gonna see you next time. I'm out.